I'm starting with $200 and turning it into over $28,000 trading options. And I'll be doing this by growing my account 10% each week. Here are the rules. Can't risk more than 30% of my account per trade. At the end of each day, any money over the weekly goal is to be banked and put to the side should I need it for the future. Odds are I will. It helps keep me from getting too greedy. And last but certainly not least, have an entry and exit plan for every trade I take. If this is the first episode you're seeing, I highly recommend you click on the card above right here and start from the beginning. And now without further interruption, let's get to it. Here we are for week five. Did not record this morning, so I'm coming with you straight with the receipts from the day. We started the day with $293. And let's just say more than likely we'll be trading again tomorrow unless it doesn't look right. All right, so here we are in the handy dandy Robin Hood. And as you can see on the day, we are down 8.97%. $26.39. Not the best day, but hey, it's manageable. And oh, we hit as low as 183. So definitely had a pullback today. If we take a look, the stocks I traded today were AMD and Tesla. So first, let's take a look at AMD. Looking at AMD, I was only trading two stocks, just Tesla and AMD. But in a sense, I kind of over trade that was in and out of the contracts especially on amd so let's see if we can keep up with this all right so today we started off we bought an amd put we paid 91 dollars uh, we bought that earlier in the day 549 out here in portugal and then bought another one at 757 for 39 dollars. this was an average down so what happened with amd is not only did it go through one supply zone it went through another one and once I saw it was at the top and once I got confirmation, I entered the second one. We got in early on the first one, went against us. Second one, we got confirmation. I sold out of the second one just a few minutes later at 8.04. That probably would have been a good trade for the day had I just waited and taken that. It is what it is. Today just taught me, yo, be more patient. Then I sold out of the second contract for $52 at 8.24 and then I bought into the same contracts because it looked like AMD was about to break down so I bought it for 74. Wish I could have just held the other one. Got filled at 8.34 for 74.03 and then I sold it for 74.97. So right there overall took a loss on AMD. Two of these are wins, two of these are losses but I think our losses may have outweighed the gains or maybe it was just all from Tesla. Real quick, let's check the chart on AMD. All right, so here's what I was looking at on AMD. I actually got into the first one probably over here in this range. There was a supply zone, and while the Fed was speaking, it just ripped right through. And then I saw another one. I was like, hey, got some time on the contract, see another supply zone. So I grabbed the next one about up here, and then we sold off down to I, I guess we're down here right now and I do believe this is going to end up coming down but I did not want to hold after hours and the market just closed as we're recording this right now all right next up let's let's look at Tesla Tesla I uh, should have just held on to everything there too all right so Tesla what happened here I bought two 180 puts bought in for $44 each contract, 88.06 total. Then sold out of them for a loss. Uh, sold out of them for $36 each uh, for a total credit of 71.94. So let's go to the chart for Tesla. And kind of the same thing that happened with AMD happened with Tesla. Ripped through a demand zone. And then we reversed at this demand zone right here. And now I have Tesla coming all the way down here. Uh, it may continue this tomorrow. It could make this move overnight. But in this account, as you can see, I still got plenty to work with. There'll be plenty of moves for me to hop in on. So yeah, we started the day with 293. Need to get back to 293. And then I believe the goal after that is 323. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. I think this week is the first week that it took more than one day. I was honestly starting to feel like, yo, this challenge is going to be too easy, but hey, every now and then we get some curveballs. If I took anything from the day, it's slow down and wait for confirmation. My goal is 10%. I'm trading options. I know how to find these killer setups and all these setups with patience, 
yield more than 10%. It's really just a matter of being patient. So today was a humbling experience. Tomorrow or the next day we trade, we get back to it. This is the first week we've had a day two. I was getting a little complacent, a little too comfortable. And now that I've had the troubles of having a day two, I don't want another one. I want to get my 10% and be done for the week and on to the next. Day two, week five is over, so let's hop in the portfolio. All right, so here we are in the good old Robin Hood. And as you can see on the day, we are up $94.16. The account is up 35.18% on the day. And our balance is $361.79. We started the day at $269.07. You know, a little, little bit of fluctuation there just from that single dollar of Bitcoin we have. But uh, as you can see, if we go a little bit, today has been a journey. We had a quick little spike this morning in the green, came down as low as 215. Actually, yeah, down to 215. Topped out at 367. Now we're just chilling up right at 361.79. The target for today was 323. So that means we got some more money to add to the bank. Now let's take a look at the trades I made today. All right. So I made trades on three different stocks today. They were AMD, QQQ, and Tesla. All right. So let's start out with AMD. All right, so looking at AMD, I bought a contract on AMD for $77 and sold out for 56. So took an L right there, bought in five minutes in the market open, sold out about 31 minutes in the market open, tried to wait it out. But at this point I had found the next play and I was like, yo, I'm not trying to worry about this one. So I closed out and, and let me actually show you the chart for that. All right, so I got in AMD right here on this first candle. I grabbed calls on AMD. So AMD came down here, bounced off this little zone down here. I wrote it up here and then it came back down again. And then it went back up higher. And yeah, AMD is just doing some sideways trading today. And I happened to get out of it probably somewhere in this area. So I didn't get out on the good side of AMD. I was up on AMD like maybe like $20 earlier, but you know, it's one of those things. Uh, my trade didn't pan out at the pace I thought it would pan out. So this is definitely something that could pan out later, but right now it's just consolidating with this challenge. I got to leave it alone. Next up, uh, we traded QQQ. I, I grabbed a 415 put on the QQQ for $30, bought in about 45 minutes into market open for $30 and sold out about 15 minutes later for $18. Taking another L right there. Let's look at the chart. This is the beauty of having a stop loss because QQQ, I actually got out right here and decided, hey, I'm pretty close to my stop loss and it doesn't even look like it's trying to do what I wanted it to do. As soon as I sold out, came down here. But to be honest with you, even if I was in this trade, I'm not 100% sure I would have taken profits right here. So, hey, this is the beauty of having a stop loss and this trade just completely did not do what I expected it to do. So yeah, we took an L on that and hey, it is what it is. Then last but certainly not least, we have Tesla. So with Tesla, you can see here today we bought in, bought one contract, about 30 minutes in the market open at $73. Then I quickly bought another one a minute later for $77. Sold out about an hour and a half into market open at for 138 each contract for a total credit of 275.94. And looking at the chart on Tesla, I entered Tesla about right here, wrote it down to about right here. It was actually time to have lunch, so I took my profits and it also really just worked out because it was pretty much at the bottom for the day. And yeah, we got decent movement on Tesla, so it worked out with that too. This is the time where I tell you, if you made it this far in the video, you are a real one. I appreciate you. If you're interested in joining the Discord family, it's 100% it's free, costs nothing to you. Check out the first link down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to support the channel. And if for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. 
Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.